Hello everyone. Let's start by dragging down a picture background. Right click to crop to fit, then extend to 18 seconds, since I'm only using eight pictures. Now go to media to drag down a picture, right click to crop to fit, then reduce to four seconds and go to effect to apply border effect. Click then go to effect to adjust the border size to six and blur to one as shown. Click the crop icon above the timeline, select 16.9, go to pan and zoom, adjust the grids, click the switch icon and apply. Click then go up to apply keyframe to transform, type minus 1318 in position Y and 15 in rotation. With this, the animation would start from the bottom outside the screen. Now move the playhead to two seconds, then go up to apply keyframe to transform. Type 80 in scale, then restore both position and rotate back to zero. Again, move the playhead to the end, then go up to apply keyframe to transform and only type 50 in scale. Further click the keyframe panel icon on the picture, then click the graph icon above, Scroll down, highlight all the keyframe point, and right-click to apply continuous curve as shown. Then click the panel icon and scroll up. Select Preview. Next, click the middle keyframe point, then right-click to copy, add a video track, then paste above as shown. Now press and hold the Alt key as you drag down another picture to replace the one on the timeline, then click the first keyframe point and go up. First restore position to zero, then type minus 2025 in position X so that it animate from the left side, then preview as shown. Again, click the second middle keyframe point, then right-click to copy the first picture below. Add a video track, then paste above as shown. Now press and hold the Alt key as you drag down another picture to replace the one on the timeline, then click the first keyframe point and go up. Now only remove minus from 1318 in position Y and scroll down to add minus to 15 to rotate. Now right-click to copy the second picture then click the middle keyframe point of the third picture, add a video track, then paste above. Further press and hold the Alt key as you replace the one on the timeline. Then click the first keyframe point and go up to remove minus from 2025 in position X and add minus to 15 in rotate. Afterward preview. Now highlight all the four pictures, right-click to copy, then click the middle keyframe point, add a video track, and paste the pictures above. Next, press and hold the Alt key as you drag down pictures from the media to replace the pictures above. Go to Effect to search and drag down Urban Bokeh Effect and extend as shown. Lastly, go back to Effect to search and drag down Lens Flare 3 effect, extend to match, then click to reduce its opacity to 80 as shown. So let preview and also the template link for this tutorial is in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.